In this video, I'm going to show you a sneak peek at how you might be doing closed captioning in the future of developing your e-learning courses. In addition to e-learning, I like to follow the tech industry as well. And in one of the recent podcasts that I listened to, they talked a little bit about a new feature built into Chrome that allows you to automatically caption video and other audio content on the web. So let me show you how you can activate this feature and how it might give us an idea of how we could do closed captioning in the future with Adobe Captivate or other e-learning authoring tools. Okay, so here I'm running Google Chrome, obviously, and I'm gonna click on the ellipses here and click on settings. And if we take a look at about Chrome, uh, I'm running 89.0.4389.114, so it's at least that version. Obviously, anything newer should have this feature as well. If we click on Advanced and we go down to Accessibility, because this is an accessibility feature, you'll see that we now have an option for live captions. And if I enable this, it will automatically create captions for English, audio, and video. Can't speak about other languages at this point. It may or may not be available. Um, if it's the first time turning this on, you might see a little indicator as it downloads what it needs to to utilize this feature and what i'll do at this point is i'll minimize my browser we'll go to one of my e-learning courses and we'll just preview html5 in browser to see what the effects are of this built-in accessibility welcome to respect in the workplace click begin to proceed so you can see that it's created this little caption window and it includes the captions. It did miss the last word in that section. Notice too that I was able to grab it with my mouse and move it to a more convenient location. Let's try the next slide and see how that looks. Sometimes employees think that by ignoring cases of discrimination or harassment, the problem might go away. If you are the victim of harassment or someone is discriminating against you, you should take a... So I've just right-clicked on this tab to mute this. And you can see that, uh, again, I can still move this around. I can increase its size. One of the limitations, though, is that so far, anyway, live captioning doesn't seem to be able to detect the beginning and end of a sentence. So there's no punctuation in there. And I'm sure there's going to be the occasional interpretation mistake where, you know, it might interpret one word as another word and so on. But I think this really shows us the possibility of where accessibility and e-learning can go. So I'm pretty excited by this. I think this is one of those things where we're just seeing where the browser technology is actually for a change, helping the e-learning industry. So it should be really interesting to see what this looks like moving forward. So I think this is really cool and it's very encouraging. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.